Aquarius, what is up, dude? How y'all doing? It's time for your extended reading for the month of August 2022, okay? We're just squeezing all the information out of the month of August that we possibly can, okay? So we are going to start this off with the past person, okay? If you're not dealing with a past person, be patient and stick around. Your part of the reading will come up momentarily. So let's just get a general outline here between Aquarius and the past person. Quick, before we get started, for those of you who would like to find the information on how to schedule a personal reading, please look in the description box of this video. And keep in mind, that is the only way to schedule a personal reading with me. Please beware of the scammers posing as me on social media, okay? I will never reach out to you on social media. I do not have any backup accounts on Instagram or Facebook. That is not me. And I will never respond to you in the comment sections of these videos. So please block and report those people. If you're looking for a reading from me, it's only done one way, and that is in the description of this video, okay? All right, let's jump into this. What's a general energy check, universe, on Aquarius in the past person? General energy check, general outline. Aquarius and the person from the past. Let's see. Ooh, the star card reversed. Some of you could be dealing with another Aquarius. I don't know what to say about that just yet. I'm not going to lie. That's a monkey wrench. That's not what I was expecting. My intuition without the cards is about 85 to 90% accurate. And then every now and then, I think I know what the message is going to say. And then, and then a monkey wrench gets thrown in the reading. I was not expecting the star card to pop out like that. Ooh, Queen of Swords reverse. This has got to be your energy, Aquarius. These are two Aquarius cards that both came out in the reverse back to back. You got a nasty, shitty attitude towards this person? The Devil card. Ooh, ooh. Okay, Eight of Wands. Hermit reversed. All right. Ooh, it's don't... Ooh, man. Devil card, seven of swords. Hey, maybe you have every right to be angry at this person. Maybe you do. Maybe this person is just a really, really toxic, broken individual. Maybe. I can't help it, though. I mean, these energies could go both ways. This could be them. You know, but the, I mean, these are two Aquarius cards that came out back to back in the reverse. Feels to me like you are very pissed off at this person. Very angry, very hurt. Okay, that's cool. And hey, I'm not mad at you. Could be a Capricorn for some of you. Also have Virgo. I have Capricorn, Virgo, and Aquarius here. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so there's definitely unfinished business between the two of you. All right, so I feel like this person, they, they do sit around and obsess over you, and they do still have feelings for you. And they very well may end up trying to communicate with you with this Eight of Wands right here. They very well may end up trying to communicate with you. I feel like what they've been doing is trying to wait for you to let your guard down. They know you're mad at them. They know you're mad at them. And they've been waiting on you to cool down and let your guard down. That's what they've been doing. They've been waiting on you to cool down, let your guard down. If I were you, though, I don't know if I would let my guard down anytime soon if I was you. I don't know if I would. All right. Let's look at this person's intentions and dig them up from a deeper level. What's this person's true energy and true intentions? Past person Aquarius is inquiring about. How do they feel about Aquarius? What's their thoughts, feelings, and opinions? Hopes, dreams, and expectations? What are their true intentions? Six of Swords reverse. So they're definitely expecting a return. They're expecting some kind of return at some point. One fell in my lap here. Oh, two fell in my lap. Oh, see, Queen of Swords reverse. They know you're mad at them. They know you're pissed off. Probably because they did something stupid, right? They probably did something stupid, and they know they did something stupid. Uh, okay, yeah, see, they, they want to reconnect with you. Yes, they do. You might intimidate this person just a little bit, though. 
I think this person's a little bit intimidated by you. Just a little bit. They don't want you to know that they have feelings for you. They know exactly what they want to say to you. And I feel like they've been trying to get your attention. Doing little things, you know? Like maybe posting things directed towards you, you know? And there may be blocked communication for some of you. And you may be saying, well, no, they have me blocked. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing. Unless they have you blocked on every single platform, you know, and still that doesn't mean nothing. People have fake accounts, backup accounts, you know. I feel like they've been doing things to try to get your attention. They have. They're just trying to test the waters and see where you stand. Yeah, yeah, they're trying to test the waters and see where you stand. They're about to give up hope, though. They're getting close. They are this close to throwing in the white towel and giving up on this. But they can't quit thinking about you. For some of you, they still dream about you at night. Some of you. And they don't want you to know that they have feelings for you. They don't want you to know that. They're, they're hiding their feelings. They're staying very closed off. Doing a very good job at pretending that, uh, that they don't give a damn. Okay. Is this the Aquarius Saga? I know there was an Aquarius Saga going on there for a little bit. Let's see if they're going to take any kind of actions. And what will the outcome be? Will this person be taking action towards Aquarius? And what will the outcome be? Ace of Swords reverse. No. I have not seen any action come through in any of these extended readings. And I, look, I'm showing you the card. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Two more shuffles. King of Wands reversed. Nine of Wands reversed. Now, this person is just playing it off until you basically let your guard down. Is there going to be any kind of outcome? Nine of Pentacles? Not really. What's the best advice? Best advice. Four of Swords. Eight of Swords. Okay. So, if they can't come straight forward and communicate to you like an adult, just ignore them. Just ignore them. I mean, you invented ignoring and playing dumb, Aquarius. <laughs> you're the one that invented that. So you're going to have to put them skills to the test on this one. Okay? If they're posting things directed towards you, just play dumb. Just ignore it. Ain't no sense in communicating like that. Because if that's how they communicate, then what change is really going to be made? If they don't have the balls to ding your inbox, like, yo, what's up? Can we talk this through? Ignore them. Ignore them, play dumb, you know, because that just shows that they haven't, they haven't evolved. They haven't changed. They haven't made any changes, you know? So just ignore it. We ain't got no time for games. Ain't no time for no bullshit games. All right, let's look at singles. Single Aquarians and their love interests. If you don't have a specific love interest in mind, I can't promise you this will resonate. This is only, mainly, for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aquarians who are single and have somebody in mind. General outline between single Aquarians and their love interest. General outline. Let's see if I can get one to jump out. Don't feel, ah, there we go. Ah, Page of Cups reversed. Ah. Reverse, though. Reverse. All right, so I'm not seeing an offer being made here. I'm not. Five of Cups reversed. Five of Pentacles reversed. Okay, this could be somebody at the workplace for some of you. Mm. Empress reversed. So, I don't th I think this person would be very shocked to find out that you're into them. I'm going to go ahead and straight up tell you right now. For those of you who came to this reading wondering whether or not your crush has a crush on you too, uh, sorry that I don't even think this person has a clue that you're even into them. I don't think it's ever even crossed their mind. That's you. That's you right there. 
<laughs> I don't think it's ever even crossed their mind that you would even be into them. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I know that wasn't very in depth. Let's see. Let's see. Let's just see how they see you. Let's see if there's an actual mutual interest. Does this person even know that Aquarius exists? Seven of Pentacles reversed. It's not really looking like they've even thought about it, honestly. Eight of Wands reversed. I'm, I, I hate to break it to you, but I don't think it's ever even crossed this person's mind. You know? And I wouldn't take it personally. I don't think that they dislike you. I just feel like such little effort has gone into forming a connection between the two of you that it hasn't even crossed their mind. It really hasn't even crossed their mind. So is there going to be any kind of outcome here? Four of Wands, there's an open doorway of opportunity, but I don't see anybody doing anything. I don't see anybody doing anything. What's the best advice? Best advice for Aquarius. Five of Swords reversed. Ah, the Nine of Swords, okay. Five of Pentacles reversed. Page of Swords. So you at least, you got to get the ball rolling. You got to do something to show some kind of interest. Uh, start forming that connection. I feel like a lot of you are afraid of rejection though. Is that what it is? You're so afraid of rejection you won't even speak to them? You won't even bring it up because you're too afraid of being rejected? Well, just know that if you don't make any effort towards this, but again, it also depends on whether or not See, I don't know about you, but I've always been the type to where if you don't notice me too, and we don't kind of flow together and gravitate towards each other naturally, you're not my person and I'm not going to bother with it. So, just saying, all right, if you want to make a decision one way or the other, either A, put forth some effort, or B, do the best you can to wash your hands clean of this right here because... I don't see anything happening. If you're just sitting around waiting on this person to wake up and notice you one day, I don't see it happening. I do not. All right. New person. Let's look at the energy between Aquarius and the new person. General outline. How's the energy looking between Aquarius and the new person? Queen of Swords reversed again. You know this is your energy, Aquarius. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Two of Cups reversed. So this could be somebody you're just like talking to. This person does have a lot of feelings for you. But there's a big fear of abandonment here. A solid decision isn't really being made. This person's developing lots and lots of feelings for you, but here you are, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Reverse, not really showing the feelings you're developing. Strength card. Hmm. 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 Ten of Cups. Okay, so there is an awful lot of potential here for this to turn into something very beautiful. Right now, though, this honestly just kind of feels like if you all are actually physically connected, like maybe no official decision has been made as to whether or not this is going to be something official, but I feel like a lot of you probably aren't even really actually connected, connected with this person. You're just like talking online maybe, but I don't see it being made official throughout the rest of the month of August. I don't. I see y'all communicating, getting to know each other. This person's falling for you harder and harder as the time goes on, but you're holding back. I feel like you're holding back. Let's see their true intentions towards you. What's this person's true intentions with Aquarius? What do they really want from you? How do they see you? How do they feel about you? They're digging you. They want this to go all the way. 
They want the happily ever after rainbows and unicorn farts and little pink bunny shit and skittles and the white picket fence with the puppy dog and the kiddos and all, you know, the whole ball of wax, man. They want, they want the ten of cups with you. Hmm, they're worried though. They're wondering, I, this is weird. They are suspecting that you might still be hung up on an ex. I don't know why they're suspecting that. Yeah, they're suspecting that you might be into somebody else. I don't know why they're, that, why they're suspecting that. Maybe some of you, some of you may have mentioned an ex, or maybe what I really honestly think it is, is that you just kind of seem so cool and detached and not needy that that's the only thing they can think of in their mind. Like, well, maybe Aquarius is actually still in love with their ex. Maybe you are. Maybe they're picking up on... I don't know, man. I don't know. But I feel like it's giving them a little bit of a complex and they're not 100% sure where you stand with this. Looks like their intentions are pretty damn solid, though. Looks pretty solid to me. Let's look at the outcome. What's the outcome for August? What's the outcome? Okay, Three of Pentacles... Ah, the death card, devil card, okay. So if the energy sets as it is and, and a change isn't being made, it looks like the two of you are slowly drifting apart. It looks like the two of you are slowly, slowly drifting apart. What's the best advice? Best advice. Okay, you need to let your guard down, first of all. Make sure communication is fluent between the two of you. Do not be afraid to open up and be vulnerable, okay? Now, I'm not saying just crack it open and just spill your heart all over the floor, but we gotta start opening up a little bit. You gotta let this person in. Start letting them in slowly, okay? Um, those of you who are, Still hung up on a past person, you gotta let that shit go. Gotta let that go, man. I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now. Your thoughts do not stay in your head. If you think that your thoughts stay in your head, you got a lot of waking up to do. Mm hmm. They have the tools and the technology to measure the light particles that shoot out of your head and get absorbed into the universe for every thought that you have. What I'm saying is, I understand still being hung up on a past person. I understand that. But if you think you're just gonna keep your mouth shut and not bring it up, and that's gonna somehow magically prevent that energy from manifesting, you got another thing coming. That energy will, not might, not could possibly, that energy will bubble up to the surface and begin manifesting itself between the two of you. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. You gotta let that shit go somehow, some way. Somehow, some way. You gotta figure out how to let go of the past person because, I mean, you still being energetically tied to a past person still puts you on the same frequency as that entire situation. Okay, and if you're tied, especially to the frequency of that past situation, that past situation and the vibration that it's resonating on will repeat itself again. Okay, so let your guard down. Not all the way if you don't want to, but start letting this person in. Start being a little bit more vulnerable. And now, if you're not hung up on a past person, then don't worry about it. I'm not talking to you. But I know there's at least one of you who's still in love with somebody from the past and you think that if you just keep it to yourself then nobody's going to know about it. You got another thing coming, okay? That's not the way it works. That energy will manifest, okay? If you're still tied to a past person, you don't need to be jumping into a relationship with a new person anyway. But shit happens, I get it. 
You need to be doing the inner work that it takes to move on from and untie from that. Or at least be putting forth the effort to do so, okay? Alrighty, I feel like those were the messages that my Aquarius friends needed to hear, so I am going to go ahead and end this reading here. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in and playing along. I greatly appreciate all the love and the support and the positive feedback you guys show me every time I get on here and do this. Makes my job worthwhile here on YouTube, y'all. I greatly appreciate you. Don't forget to look in the description of this video if you would like to find information on how to schedule a personal reading. And I'm out of here now, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you sometime between now and the rest of all eternity. Y'all stay blessed.